That sucked. I barely slept a wink last night. No oh, eight six. Man, this is weird. Feels like I've lost something important. Like a family member's died. You look like the Walking Dead as usual, my friend. How you feeling? Come on. It is way too early for you to be acting like a hyperactive freak. Why are you so worked up anyway? Why else would I be? Today's the day of the big race. The Red Suns and the Emperors are gonna go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. I'm already so freaking excited. You know, I can't even take a leak. I know. Why don't we carpool up there like the two of us did that time we went up to the race in Miyogi? And can we take your 8-6? Maybe show it all to the adoring fans. Uh, do you have wax in your ears or something? I said, why don't we take your 8-6 up there? <laughs> Hold up! Talk to me, where you going, man? I can't wait to check this race out tonight. It's gonna be a hell of a time. Any thoughts on who's gonna win? Because I think it's going to be Ryosuke. He's clearly the better driver of the two. That pseudo guy from the Emperors isn't that good. Forget what I think about him personally. He just happens to drive a better car. You know what, dude? You don't know crap about cars. So just shut up, all right? <laughs> what are you so pissed off about? Look, man, it's not like I'm mad at you or anything. What? It's just that something came up with the car, so I can't go with you to watch the race tonight. <laughs> Why not? I just can't. Go with Ikatani and Kenji, okay? You'll be fine. <laughs> what the hell? Takami actually lost? That's right. So, he really did go to Akigi last night. That's just perfect. I heard something about his car stopping during the race. I was hoping it was just a rumor, but I guess it's not. What do you mean it stopped? Did he blow the engine or did he slam it into the guardrail or what? No one knows exactly what happened. We're just hearing bits and pieces. We're basically panicking over every little thing we hear. Well, boss, we actually figured you might have heard something about it from his dad. The two of you being old friends and all. Sorry, guys, but this is the first I'm hearing about it. Hang on. I'm gonna give him a call real quick. He's not answering. Damn the luck. Takami's probably at school right now, anyway. It's bugging the hell out of me that they never even bothered to tell us about this. Look, that's Keisuke Takahashi. Is Takami here? No. Today's his day off. He's back on shift tomorrow. All right. I was hoping to talk to him directly. I don't want to leave a message with you guys. 
But it's looking like that's what I'm gonna have to do. Tell him I said last night's race doesn't count, that I won't accept the win. It was too strange to count for anything. I don't really know what anyone else thought about it, I can only speak for me. Thing is, I just can't stand up and say Takami Fujiwara was defeated last night. <sighs> and one more thing. He needs to know, we're all planning to avenge his 8-6. Show the Emperors who's boss. That's the truth, we're gonna wipe the pavement with those wannabes. Later. Hold up, we'll give him the message. And I just wanted to tell you good luck with tonight's battle. We're all gonna be pulling for you, man. Bad idea. <laughs> what the hell? Are you nuts? You think maybe this rock's a little too big to be throwing in my window? You could have shattered the thing. Or given me a concussion, for that matter. I looked for smaller ones, but there weren't any. Besides, it isn't like you got hurt or anything, right? And I made sure to throw it lightly. I was actually pretty awesome in baseball. Look, I don't care how good you think you were. You don't throw freaking boulders at my window! <laughs> I am so sorry. Dude, I did not mean to hit your car. I don't deserve nice things anyway! <laughs> I thought I told you that I wasn't gonna go with you to Akagi today. I know. And I decided that I'm not gonna go either. Instead of that, why don't you and I go on up to Akina Pass for a little joyride? What do you say? Give me some fun. Hey, talk to me. One thing. I just want to say I'm sorry about this morning. I know I have a killer arm, but the rock was bigger than I thought. Dude. I don't care anything about that. I was curious to see if you'd maybe heard anything about last night's race, though. Yeah. Ikitani filled me in on it after school. So I guess everybody at the station already knows, too. Seems like everyone in town is already talking about it. It's pretty big news. They all keep their eyes on you. By the way, Ikitani said he had a message I was supposed to give to you when I saw you. Some dude riding right up on my tail. Huh? Well, he's probably just as excited to get up there and see tonight's race as we are. Yeah, sure, man. I guess so. But the guy's just rubbing on my nerves a little bit. Look at how damn close he's riding to my freaking bumper. I'll just speed up. Nah, it looks like he's trying to pass. Pull over some and let him get by. Yeah. Let's see what kind of car he's driving. Dude, that's a freaking 8611! And it's got a turbo. I could hear the wastegate pass the exhaust out the tailpipe. Damn, that guy flew by my SR20 turbo like it was parked in the drive-thru. How'd he do that? I mean, we're on an uphill. Where did that guy come from? Have I ever even seen him around here before? That's what they said. Keisuke came to the gas station and said as far as he was concerned, he doesn't think you lost last night's race. 
I honestly have no idea what he means. I mean, I did lose. I was completely outmatched. If you'd seen it, you'd agree. So Suda was that good, huh? Those emperors know what they're doing. Yeah, they do. I would have lost to them even if we'd raced in Akina. Makes sense. So, dude, how is the old H6 anyway? Can you fix her up? My dad thinks she needs a new engine, but I don't know. Maybe she does. <gasps> I should never have gone to Akagi. It was a mistake, one I'll probably regret for the rest of my life. <laughs> Damn, the air around here is so tense you could punch it. You hear about that crazy race went down last yeah. night? Akina's 8-6 lost. I can't believe it. But Sudo's technique is nothing to scoff at. I hear it's freaking out of this world. I guess Ryosuke Takahashi really is Gunma's one last hope of redemption. I want that guy to win no matter what. Shingo, you came to see this thing play out, too? Takashi. I figure coming out and rooting for the Red Suns is the least I can do. <laughs> There's not a chance in hell is gonna lose this one. We can't just let these Lan Evo idiots look down on Gunma for the rest of eternity. Yeah. Uh, look at how close you are. What do you say you back the hell up a bit? Six. Wait, is that Akina's 8-6? No, it's got Saitama plates. What do you think? Is this gonna work, Kazumi? It's fine. The Lan Evos. Come on, Red Suns, you can do it. Got anything to say before we crank this up, Ryosuke? Not really. Just that it's only gonna be you and me out there tonight. <laughs> yeah, that's more like it. Now, what do you say you and I start a real race, huh? Initial D. Initial D. Remember how you told me you weren't gonna race in Akina anymore? Man, when I heard that, I thought you were the bravest driver I'd ever met. And I really mean that. You wanting to race any place but at home impressed me big time. Look, man, you've got it all wrong. There wasn't anything impressive about what went down last night. Everything about it was awful. And when it was over, I was madder than I've ever been. Because of that, I started making really stupid decisions. I couldn't control my emotions, and I ended up wrecking the car. It serves me right, I guess. I was so pissed off I couldn't see straight. I didn't have any business being behind the wheel. But it's lucky I walked away in one piece. I can accept the loss, because deep down I know I wasn't good enough. What I can't get over is the fact my 8-6 ended up trashed. And my dad, he trusted me. Sorry, dude. <laughs> This is it. So what plan are you running with? Simulation X. Seriously? I didn't even know we had an X. Ryosuke is an exception to all of our other rules. And I've developed a special strategy just for this battle. It's one that's gonna win this thing for me. Count on it. Eyes front, I'm starting the countdown! Five, four, three, two, one! As 
long as my brother runs his normal race, there's no way he'll lose to that Lan Evo. Well, that's different. I've seen Ryosuke race dozens of times, and he usually lets his opponent take the lead. Wonder what he'll do next. This is awesome. I mean, both of those cars are so intense out there. You're right, sis. It is a pretty awesome race. But hey, are you able to see all the little subtleties in their strategies? Mm -hmm. Like the fact that the Evo 3 had a quick start, but it never fully accelerated coming off the line. And when they dove into the first corner all tangled up, you watch closely, you'll see he retreated a little bit. That kind of thing's out of form for him. Oh. Maybe he was choosing to stay behind as some kind of strategy. There's really no way of knowing. What I do know is it was worth coming out to see this race. race I can win. By hanging back, I can see everything that Ryosuke is trying to do. I've got this guy. All of the uncertainties that have been swirling around in my head, they're gone. Don't let this go to your head, man. I still think you street racers are the lowest of the low. The best any of you could hope to be is mediocre. There's no way the motorsport technique is inferior to primitive street technique. It was developed to achieve maximum speed. Everybody knows it. Got that? That's what I'm always gonna think. Believe what you want, but the mountain pass requires its own technique. You won't succeed out there with what you've learned so far. That stuff you've picked up at Gymkhana and those other circuits. That's total BS! No freaking way! Kyoichi. I'm getting the feeling that this conversation isn't going anywhere. At least not anywhere that's gonna result in any answers for you. Because if you really believe that your theory is correct, then go ahead and defeat me. But if you can't beat me, then all you're left with is a theory. I won't forget this, Ryosuke. I will defeat you someday. Then you'll taste the same bitter anguish that I do. And I haven't forgotten it since then. I know you remember too. All of our racing theories, personal beliefs, they're all riding on our tires tonight, pal. <laughs> requires its own technique. The boldness to take the shortest line. Heel and toe. The all-wheel drift with zero counter steering. You may be fast out here, but what's so special about your technique? You're just spitting out textbook circuit racing bullcrap. If you want speed, you'll end up having to rely on motorsport technique. My theory is the right one. Ryosuke's FC is kicking down the pass. It's like a damn jet engine. The Evo 3 is right there along with it. Here they come. Wonder who's in front. This part always makes me nervous. Check it out, guys. It's the FC. I'll 
I'll show you just how much I've grown since I faced you last year, Ryosuke. <laughs> system really knock it out. What? The Evo 3 just passed Rio's gaze FC! Six was seen in Akira, so it's running again. Next on Initial D, second stage. Dangerous car. Don't miss it. 